It's when you're no, it's a cold open, man. Yeah. Hey guys, if you're in the market for a tactical EDC pen, today we're going to be reviewing two of the best. So stick around. I'm Mike. And I'm Aaron. And this is the show where we review uh, EDC gear and outdoor equipment, uh, sort of from a gear maker's perspective. The reason that we're reviewing tactical pins is because when we were setting up the EDC store on our website, levergear.com, um, we were trying to get like the best of EDC in each category, and one of them was obviously like tactical pins. And these two are the ones that we ended up with. Yeah. So, uh, like Aaron said, these are our two favorites. Um, we've got a uh, Tri-Tac pen from Stat Gear and the uh, 1945 pen from GPCA. Two cool pens. So we're gonna start with a 1945 pen from GPCA. Um, GPCA stands for General Purpose California, and um, 1945 is a reference to the end of World War II. So, GPCA, I believe they started uh, designing a lot of accessories for cars and got into a tactical pen as well um, and launched this on Kickstarter a couple years ago. You know, as far as uh, some of the features that it has, um, it's uh, a bolt action, so it's got a really smooth bolt action, um, kind of fun to play with. There is a glass breaker. It wouldn't be tactical if it didn't have a glass breaker on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It doesn't break gla uh, grass, but breaks glass. So that's five times grass. <laughs> Another cool feature of this is it's got an emergency whistle on it mm -hmm. built into it. Um, and one kind of neat hidden feature about the whistle is you can actually change the pitch to do like bird calls and, mm -hmm. and stuff. So let's do a little demo. If we Go for it. Um, just a little, yeah, <laughs> that's it, pretty loud. Yeah, Sorry it, 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 it's up. not just any whistle, it's a survival whistle, so it will be like loud enough to yeah. hurt you. <laughs> yes, so you can use this in the wilderness. Another just hidden feature of this is the, the knurling here is sort of spaced in increments, so you can quickly just gauge like what's one inch, what's one centimeter. Oh, wow. Um, it's kind of a cool little known feature of that. Did you, what are your, what are your thoughts on that? I, I think that it's just a quality pen. It's aesthetic. We'll wait to go over like final thoughts after we compare it with the um, Tri-Tech. Okay. So the second pin that we have is the Tri-Tech by Statgear. Um, sort, same sort of deal. It's a tactical pin. Uh, it also has a window breaker and a bolt action, uh, what would you call that? Pin style? Yeah. <laughs> bolt action pin style? Bolt action, yeah. Sort of main difference is that this also has a knife that comes out of the tip. Right. I think that it's principally uh, meant for like box cutting and sort of miscellaneous tasks like that. Uh, it doesn't lock at the end, so you do just press it back. It's friction held. The way it's formed, mm -hmm. I think it's a little bit more conducive to like stabbing, which is <laughs> hypothetically one of the uh, one of the purposes of having the tactical pin is that the body is sturdy enough that you can like stab someone with it and it won't break off. Right. <laughs> one kind of neat little design feature that maybe you can see is there's some some holes in there so it kind of looks like a rifle or something and you can actually see the ink cartridge refill in there um, but overall kind of a nice uh, definitely like a tactical look to it um, doesn't have the knurling so it's a little smoother uh, but just kind of a solid solid pen um, I will just to add to the knife a little bit you know it is small um, but it's it's sturdy it's nice and the, the fact that it isn't a pen, you can kind of use it as an exacto blade, um, you know. So it's it's sort of a little bit uh, uh, more, you know, of a delicate knife that you could use for fine detailing, and you could probably even use it to cut your steak with. Yeah. If you're eating with it, you know. Um, it's a small steak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the blade's small. Yeah. But um, yeah. So uh, it's it's we really like this one a lot. Um, and but maybe we should just talk a little Do bit about the, some of the differences. Yeah. Yeah. So we talked about like the knurling on this, and I think that that is kind of what pushes it over the edge for me in two ways. Uh, the first being that it just looks better, mm -hmm. and the second that it feels way better in my hand. I don't enjoy writing with that at all. Right. But that it's kind of iffy though, because if you're using this because you want to be able to stab somebody, <laughs> if that's what you look for in a pin then this would be the better option, in my opinion. The stack gear would but, be. Yeah, the stack gear, the tri-stack stack gear would is be. is better for stabbing. It's better for stabbing. Uh, you can tell them I said that. But uh, I like the GPCA pen better for, you know, carrying around every day. I'd be more likely to carry this around, you know, right. in my daily, to everyday carry. Sure, sure. To that, I mean, and to that, um, yeah, I think they're both pretty similar. I mean, if you're, if you're using it as a weapon, you know, you can get a pretty good grip on this, obviously. Um, if you have time to 
take your knife out and you're using it as a weapon. This has the clear advantage, um, but otherwise, no, I, no, no. But I think I, but this is similar. what you have to stab them with. Yeah, stab them equally well with this. Oh well, no, my let's friend. Let's do a test. No, 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 my friend. YouTube, should we do a test? <laughs> uh, but, so when you're holding it though, right? right. Like. You have that much sticking out. Okay, out so you have versus more. Versus this. Right, you've got more. You got like half an inch more on that distance. One, right? Okay. Uh, well, that brings up a good point, though. This is, there's definitely a difference in the length. Um, so the GPCA is uh, about an inch shorter, um, which I actually prefer, yeah. you know, for using it as a pen. Um, here's the, here's my sort of everyday carry <laughs> plastic pen that I use. And as so you can tell, it is not tactical. Yeah, the, the GPCA is more of a typical pen length. Um, and it's not as, it, you know, it's a smaller diameter. So it's, mm -hmm. it, it feels, to me, it feels a lot better in your hand and it Absolutely. just feels nice to write with. Um, whereas when I'm holding this, it's just a little bit, a little bit big. It's a little wonky. A little bit as clunky, well, yeah. Thought that'd be my um, yeah, and I think that's, that's the price you pay for like adding the knife feature to it. Yeah. Um, so, um, and then another um, thing about using these two pens, they're both bolt action as we described. Um, but it, you know, to me, after using these, not all bolt actions created equal. Yeah. Um, the the GPCA is just it's really fun to do. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like again like a little fidget toy or something. Yeah, I was gonna say like half of EDC uh, tools. Right. Like fifty percent of the selling point is just being able to like mess with it in your hand. Yeah. So when you're when you're using this uh, the bolt release for the pen, um, it just it just sort of pops into place. It's mm -hmm. got a nice spring to it. Um, this one works works well um, and secures the pen, but it's just not quite as fun. Yeah, Although actually, it's, it's a little wider though. So well, like what well, you actually have to grab yeah. is um, a little bit bigger on the tri -tech. Yeah, it's not bad though, actually just doing this some more. Yeah. I like it. Um, what else? Um, I think that's about it. I mean, do you have a, an opinion about the aesthetic sensibility? Yeah, to me, um, again, I prefer the, the aesthetics of the GPCA. Um, to me, I, it's just like a clear it just winner. Looked, yeah, yeah, it just looks more like a pen. Um, so yeah, as far as which is your favorite? Yeah, GPCA. GPCA, yeah. Uh, and that was my favorite as well. So it was pretty, pretty unanimous uh, around the office here. Um, so that's why we we sort of chose that one to, to add to our website. Mm -hmm. um, but I think the the big decision, if you're comparing these two pens and you like them both, is is which feature is more important to you, the yeah. the knife feature or you know having the whistle feature and maybe just a little bit better everyday yeah. pen. Are you live in a rough area and you can't actually buy a gun <laughs> right. or a knife, so you have to carry like <laughs> sure. a tactical pen. So um, yeah, a couple other last thoughts. Just uh, as far as the ink refills go, you know, like they both they both write well. Um, the Statgear TriTac uses the um, Fisher Space Pen refills, so those are fairly common. Um, the GPCA uh, has their own refills. I, I don't know if it's a custom, but it's a semi-custom oh, refill. Well, okay. it's, it's 60 millimeters in length, so it's shorter than most um, ink refills. Um, but you can get them on their website, get them on Amazon, uh, and they and they both write really well. Um, I'd say the the ink is yeah, they're very both really smooth. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah. I think that's about it. Uh, I don't know, is there anything else we wanted to add? Uh, Who puts a knife at the end of a pen? <laughs> My genius it's came up knife. with that one. <laughs> it's a pen knife. <laughs> um, it just it looks it looks kind of silly to me personally. But no, I mean you could use it as a. I mean I get it, but I mean like, like it. it feels like this one feels more like they. Uh, they had a regular pen, and right. they thought, like, what can we add to it? Yeah. And this design is more like... It's more integrated? More integrated, yeah. Yeah. Apparently, um, with the GPCA, they also have a, an insert where you can replace the, the bolt action yeah. with, um, like, a magnesium rod, uh, and you can actually start cool. fires with it. That's, so See, that's just cool. Haven't tested that out yet. Yeah. Actually, both made of aluminum. Um, the, uh, the GPCA I know comes in, also comes in titanium, and I think they have a steel version as well. Um, oh. But we like the aluminum because it's it's the lightest weight, and um, you know they're already a, a little on the heavy side because mm -hmm. they're tactical pens. But the aluminum is lightweight and you know strong enough, like it's yeah. it's plenty strong. Um, but if you just love titanium, uh, you know, and, and you want to get everything titanium, GPCA has a titanium version, a little more pricey. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, two great pins, uh, obviously one greater than the other. You can find the GPCA at levergear.com and the TriTech at stackgear.com. Um, let us know what you think in the comments. 
And if you got any other pen suggestions, um, tactical pens, EDC, just let us know in the comments. Um, hope you got some good value out of the show. Uh, like we said, two cool pens, check them out. And uh, if you like the show, please, uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to our show. We're gonna be reviewing more cool gear in the future and um, less miming in the future as well. <laughs>